it's 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 been a weird week um because oil is now trading at negative numbers and i'm they're not like, not like paying people to take oil now i'm not sure what happens now they're like please sir would you take some oil i will give you 20 dollars <laughs> It's, that's pretty much the side. And, and, and by the way, that's oil, not gas. If it, the, we're talking raw oil. That's because we're not using enough of it. So we're not processing enough of it. So we've got the raw material just sitting there and not enough place to store we're it. We're not driving anywhere and we're not running factories at the level we usually do. And so. Nice. Oh, la, la. Did you know? Do you know what the, the, the price of gas today was where i live like quarter buck 50. it was like a buck 13 here last week what the hell our, our state colorado as of monday they're opening they're doing like a soft open <laughs> yeah it's kind of like that so like some retailers can open for pickup service dentists can open and Two shots. Yeah, that's not really essential. Um, I don't. I don't see the need to go in and I. I, I don't desperately need new ink right now. I, I, like I have some ideas of things I want, but like I can wait. I know it's the apocalypse, and now is the time for making regrets. But yeah. you know, um, I, I mean, like I'm definitely gonna get the Furiosa makeup just tattooed on my face, so I don't have to reapply it every day in the wasteland. Um. <laughs> So it's uh, like, I know it's not a bloodborne illness, but in most places where you have to get tattooed, like they have to be really close to you for hours at a time. Like when I got this guy, oh man, it's angled weird. Yeah. That girl was a foot from my face for two hours. Cause that's what they do. The other thing that the uh, our our um governor foghorn leghorn of South Carolina. Um, he, he's, he's nine, nine. go and watch some governor McMaster, go and watch some footage of him. Foghorn Leghorn, I swear to God, um, has decided it's time to reopen parts of South Carolina. And that includes flea markets. You ever been to a flea market? Yeah. It's generally really unsanitary. Yeah, the one we have locally is not, it's it's a partially outdoor flea market, but mostly it's these long buildings, these long yeah. buildings with like stalls in them. And you rent a stall, in case you're in a place that doesn't have a flea market and don't know what I'm talking about, you rent these stalls to sell things from. Mostly it's just concrete and bare wood because it is yeah. the cheapest possible fucking building. Yeah, just try to keep that sanitary. Just try to keep the that just, yeah. One of the things Dan and I always loved to do when we lived in New Jersey is every few months they would put on what's called the Trenton Punk Rock Flea Market. And it would be somewhere in the Trenton area, sometimes over the Pennsylvania state line. Usually they have it at like a brewery or an abandoned warehouse or something. And you got really cool. Like there was one booth there that just had various animal fetuses in jars. Nice. A lot of crafts made out of bones. But you'd find some cool stuff, you know? And they've gone entirely online just so they can keep going. But like, yeah, as much as we love that, I wouldn't go to that now. Have you have you ever encountered someone who would when having experienced an unpleasant sensation would as almost as if in doubt attempt to repeat the unpleasant sensation? Like if they if 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 like they burn themselves on something, they're like, ow. And they reach back over like yeah. oh, it's... And you're like, what are you doing? That's yeah. what's happening in America right now. We've just like, given us. I don't our... even think my state has peaked. We, we but just... the libertarians are breathing down the governor's neck so bad that he's like, oh, la, la. And he made the announcement yesterday, so I'm like, should we check if he remembers? We've just given ourselves it was a... 420 yesterday. Like, should we make sure that was on purpose and he wasn't just hungry? We've just given ourselves a second degree burn. And now yeah. we're like, is 
it still hot? And the tree that won't happen again. That won't happen. Again. Come on, what are the odds? So yeah. yeah. But amazingly enough, I I I I've mentioned this like in past weeks. I thought that this entire show was going to be consumed with stupid pandemic news. Yeah. And while there is some of that, no faith in humanity restored. We are doing idiotic things that do not involve the yeah. pandemic. So let's get to that this week. Here we go. Intro time. Each week, Catherine. Radio Dead Air on going on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff and bring it back here for a little something we like to call What the fuck is wrong with you? And let's uh we are of course starting with some of the news. Now th this one I kind of understand a little bit of the anger. A little bit of the anger here. Um have you gotten your stimulus check yet? No. I have not either. Uh, lots of people have. In fact, they, there, there's a website that's supposed to, the IRS is supposed to say what your status is. Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It turns out people have been entering fake information to that website and get the same error as people entering genuine information. Although I also saw a landlord who was getting sued because he got it to work. So he plugged in the socials from all of his tenants' applications and everybody that got their check, he then texted them and was like, I know you got your money, pay me my rent. That's illegal. That is very illegal. Yeah. Um, all kinds of crap is going on. So I haven't gotten mine yet. I, I know I don't have mine. No, most of you folks who do a tax return, you get a refund. So you set up a direct deposit and stuff. I don't. I'm self-employed. For the past decade, I've been paying taxes. Yeah. So they don't have a bank account for me. So I don't know when the fuck I'm going to see a dollar. I think we paid last year too. Yeah. And that might be what. what <sighs> so I understand the frustration about getting the check. However, this is not how we handle waiting on our stimulus check, boys and girls. Um, man, angry about stimulus check. Set shed on fire. How does that help? I I don't know. Fire marshals in Louisiana say a man has set his mother's shed on fire out of anger for not receiving a federal stimulus check. Marvin Smith Jr., 51, got into a dispute with his mother over the federal payout before the arson happened. Um, investigators were able to determine the fire was intentionally set inside the Hamburg shed. They arrested Smith after witnesses told them they saw him in the shed moments before the fire started. Witnesses also told investigators they saw Smith flee the scene after the fire. He was booked into jail on an arson charge. He was charged with other crimes. I don't understand what happened. I don't see the correlation here. I don't see the, um, I'm not getting my check. So I set my mom's shed on fire. What happened? What? What happened? Do you think she had your check in there? <laughs> if it wasn't for is my... Your, is the Treasury Department located in your mother's shed? If it wasn't for my horse, I wouldn't have spent that year in college. I don't know what happened here. I, I, I cannot. The, 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 the article is very vague. It doesn't even yeah. have a byline. It's just Associated Press. Because now if you get that stimulus check, you're probably going to have to spend it on legal fees. Yeah. And that won't even pay for like one hour no. of a decent lawyer. I know this because I've been divorced. <laughs> yeah. That's like one hour of a lawyer's time. I want to point out that this, this, uh, the shed pictured here, this is a stock picture of a shed. <laughs> Not the actual shit. That the the news channel added to this. Um, this was an I AP story. Think of, I don't know if your area has the insurance commercial where Cheryl She Shed burned down. Yes, the She Shed, yes. Someone burned my She Shed. Lightning hit your She Shed, Cheryl. I'm going to get a new She Shed, your She Shed. He burned her She Shed. <laughs> I just, it. what the hell is going on out there? I don't understand that train of thought at all. I, I, know, I know it's wild times. It's the end of times. I, I get that. But, she you know. sucks, man. 
you know, kind of is is making sense really that much of a of a chore? You know, we what? might be just approaching general fuck it. Yeah. Uh, fuck it. It's the it's, end of times. It's like it's like I always hated that shed. It's like flowers for Algernon, but for the species. <laughs> Ah, uh, speaking of, um, well, not entirely, but still, it's still stupid. Um, we're all learning to Zoom. This is the thing. We're all learning to teleconference. We're all learning to work from home and all this. And it's, for some people, hi, it's kind of a common occurrence. I'm used to it. I do it every week. I have um, a cool virtual Zoom background where it looks like Dean Winchester has his arm around me. You've got a strange definition of the term cool. It's awesome. Um, the closest I'm ever going to get to that. Actually, that's not true. I got a picture with Jensen Ackles. So some of us are adapting. Some are not. Judge to lawyers, please get out of bed and put on a shirt for Zoom court hearings. To Broward, the lawyers? Broward County, Florida. Casual attire can be excused for many of our work from home virtual calls, but that can only go so far when you're a lawyer zooming into a court hearing. As courts hold some of their proceedings online to prevent spreading the coronavirus, uh, I have to delete that out. I gotta watch that. Human malware. Gotta remember. Um, Broward Circuit Judge Dennis Bailey describes some of what they're seeing from the bench. It's remarkable how many attorneys appear inappropriately on camera, Bailey wrote in a letter posted to the Western Bar Associated website. We've seen many lawyers in casual shirts and blouses, eh, uh, with no concern for ill grooming, eh, uh, in bedrooms with the master bed in the background. Okay, it's a little tacky. If that's where the computer is, that's where the fucking computer is. That's right? true. That's true. Um, one male lawyer appeared shirtless. And one female attorney appeared still in bed, still under the cover. <laughs> and putting on a beach cover up won't cover up your poolside in a bathing suit. So please, if you don't mind, let's treat court hearings as court hearings, whether zooming or not. Um, I, I you probably don't have to do a full three piece suit, but a shirt, a shirt. And not like one with a beer logo on it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, it, I spend an hour getting ready to do this every week. Yeah. I pick out a nice shirt. I put on a shit ton of makeup. Yep. I do my hair. I I I, I shave. I, I I shave. I put my. I take shower. Do my hair. Get a nice shirt. You know. We do all of I that mean, to fuck on the internet. I mean, I will point out I'm covered in cat fur, but it's impossible to be helped yeah. because freaking Grady is we everywhere. We do all of that to say fuck on the internet. Yes. These people who are making bank probably can't be arsed to do any of that. <laughs> From under the covers. <laughs> Hello. Notice Jeremy, made no mention of pants. I am wearing pants. Hello. Not going to say I'm always wearing pants. I'm wearing pants. I just, just a shirt. It's not just put on a, the same. Look, it's the same rules for going to the fucking convenience store. Okay. No shirt, no shoes, no service. You got it. You should try to look a little nicer than if you're going to the convenience store for a court appearance. Right. I mean, just, I, it, it's, you know what? You could probably get away with just putting on a blazer and a, a button-down Oxford with no tie. It just look a little rough. I you can't know, even little... imagine doing a court appearance from my fucking bed. I had a teleconference with. I had a telemedicine with my doctor this week, and it was weird. Although I use my I phone. You want for common, I think. What? That's going to become the norm, I think. Yeah, and there's it, it, the funny thing is they're they're the, like they're still charging me as though I can't went into the office. Of course they did. Um, so, and of course it, it wouldn't be this nonsense without someone trying to do something on it with YouTube. I am so sick of this shit. I am so, I am so, YouTube was a fucking mistake. Teens face charges after prank in Walmart store. 
couple of teens went to a Walmart store last weekend to pull a human malware prank on shoppers. The police didn't find it so funny. Uh, Nitro police in uh, Kanawha, Can I think that's Kanawha. I would guess so, yeah. Kanawha County responded to a call from the Walmart about two teens who wanted to scare shoppers, filmed them, and put it on YouTube. Uh, Police Chief Bob Eggleton said the teens went into the Nitro Walmart armed with a spray bottle and a cell phone. Teenagers' intentions were to come up behind customers, cough on them, and tell customers they had human malware. Uh, what they were doing, walking up to people, walking behind them, coughing, spraying them with a bottle, which is nothing more than water, and saying they had the virus. Um, the teens managed to cough and spray at least three customers. The customers complained to the Walmart management, who in turn called the police. Officer stopped the teen in the parking lot. Um, the teens are under 18, but the police are working with the prosecutor's office to charge both with terroristic threatening a felony. They're not playing. They're not fucking around. You gotta What's understand. What's the fucking punchline? I know. What's the, the, the. Oh my God, you thought you were gonna die. That's so funny. It's. It's. We, we, I, I'm, I don't want to be like, are these kids today? But there's a certain cutoff when you're growing up with the, th there is a moment all of us face as being a teenager where shit becomes real. When, when suddenly consequences lock in, when the idea of, of permanence, when you get the concept of, of two, there are two concepts you pick up as, as, as a teenager that's the moment where everything clicks in the pace. The concept is one is never and the other is forever. When you realize there is a permanence to what you do, that's when you're you're switched on. Welcome to the world. Now, according to Dan, psychologist Dan, the human brain does not fully grasp the concept of consequences until about age 25. Yeah, yeah. So like, fine, you're you're young and you're fucking stupid. Fine, just tell me what the fucking punchline is. I know, right? What? what? I don't need you to understand consequences. <laughs> just tell me why that's funny. Like, I, just got, I just downloaded TikTok to try and make my nieces think I'm cool. <laughs> I haven't put anything on it because I don't know what to put on there. Like, I can't do dances, and so I just like I watch TikToks. That's an easy way to blow two hours and not even understand that you did. <laughs> but like, I, I don't, I haven't put anything on there yet because I'm like, what do I put on TikTok? And I don't want to just put some bullshit up there because I can. But it's certainly just, not gonna be like her, her. You thought you were gonna die? That's I funny. Just, That's I prank. Just... <sighs> what has YouTube done to us? I will say it not as back in my day. I will say things were different for us in that we did not have quite yeah. the platform. We, we oh, didn't have the platform for this crap. So we didn't have thank the incentive. Yeah. I mean, we still did stupid shit. Don't get me wrong. We were not angels. We we're like, but oh, my God. No fruits. <laughs> you can't fucking prove it. Okay. There's no fucking proof. If I was a Visco girl at 13, nobody has to know. Now, like when you're 30, oh, you were a Visco girl mom? No, really? This picture says different. <laughs> That's embarrassing. But yeah, there, but there wasn't, we didn't have quite the incentive. I mean, there was still horrible shit to do, but now there's horrible shit for the whole world to watch you do. I mean, Andy Warhol was right. Everybody kind of famous for 15 minutes now. It's just, you don't have to be good at anything to be famous anymore. You can just be a fucking moron. Yeah. Heck, that's enough to make, to become president. Even. Someone else doesn't know what a Visco girl is. I had to have my niece explain it to me. They're like faux surfer girls, like big scrunchies and like tie dye t-shirts, three sizes too big and a very specific brand of water bottle. I don't know. It's like, I look like that in the 90s sometimes. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, we had entirely too much dye dye in the 90s. It, it, should, it was an issue. It, it, it was it was a serious issue. Uh, we've got now let's get in just 
to, to restore our faith, not everything is about the human malware. No, no. There is more going on in the world. More incredibly stupid things going on in the world. From Canada, a driver in <sighs> Sawasan. That, that took me a minute to figure out how to say. Sawasan. Wow, that's a lot of letters. And that, that's, almost, that, that, that's almost Welsh. Let's just be perfectly honest. That's, that's almost... T-S-A... a 13-letter word with two vowels. T-S-A-W-W-A-S-S-E-N. Sawasan. Driver in Sawasan out for an early ride in a golf cart. Was pulled over by police Tuesday. According to police, the driver, wearing a bathrobe and slippers, was one of three suspected impaired drivers pulled over the early morning hours of April 14th. Um... Wondering why a golf cart was being driven on the roadway, the officer activated his emergency equipment and pulled it over to check the driver's insurance license and sobriety. Upon approaching the golf cart, the officer detected a distinct odor of liquor. Noted the driver was wearing a bathrobe and slippers. Can we talk about golf carts aren't enclosed? <laughs> nope. So if they can smell liquor on you. Oh, yeah. In an open air vehicle. Oh, yeah. You are sweating pure bourbon. <laughs> um, police say the driver then blew into the approved screening device, which registered a fail. They don't give you a blood alcohol. Um, the driver was then banned from driving for 90 days, and the golf cart was towed. <laughs> okay, so somebody got up early in the morning, downed a gallon of vodka, Put on slippers and a bathrobe, and there's no mention of anything under the bathrobe, by the way. Just slippers and a bathrobe. That's all the article oh, tells us. Um, and then went for a drive in a golf. Now, I don't know if if you've um ever been you might have seen a golf cart up close and in person. Um for those of you out there who have not seen a golf cart up and in person, you think these things are just like, oh, they're little electric carts to take you around. They're nobody. No. no. These guys can I don't know them because that's what we use at Comic Con to transfer the famous people in high heels around. Yeah, they're not they're not exactly you know zero to sixty in in under a second. But they go they, like ten miles an hour tops. But they can they can get cranking real fast because they're they're electric. There's no mo there's no engine. You push the button, vroom, they go they go. They're oh, I didn't think they could go that fast. I thought they were pretty limited. Depends on the kind you had. My dad, I my dad had one, and he would he would motor around the neighborhood. He kept it kind of slow, but he could. I tried to move huh. that thing once or twice. Um, I did not know that. I had to park it once or twice, and you put your foot on it, and that thing <laughs> speed. Um, I feel like there's a lot of people that think that as long as you're not operating a car, it doesn't count. Right. Yeah. I mean, because it's not a car. That, like, it's a golf cart. I'm not driving. Golf carts count. Tractors count. Uh, Lawn mowers count. Even freaking rascal scooters yeah. can count. <sighs> Pretty it, much anything that, that has wheels, mm -hmm. you shouldn't be operating if you're fucked up. Right. And that includes bicycles. Yep. I, I just, I, it, just the bathrobe, the slippers are what's killing me. You know? <laughs> Were they fuzzy slippers? <laughs> uh, well, here, this next story is, okay, first off, thank God no one was hurt. But this one, what the fuck happened here? Um, there's reporting on the news, and then there's becoming the news. You're never supposed to become the news. Woman arrested after stealing news van with reporter inside. Oh no. Atlanta police say they have arrested a woman for stealing a news van with a reporter inside. Lead officer Steve Avery said police uh, and a CBS 46 WGCL TV news reporter and photographer were investigating a car crash when the crime happened. 
when the photographer got out of the van to set up his camera. Police say 38-year-old uh, Sonequa Lunsford, who involved in the original crash, jumped into the news van and drove away. So they're out there to report on the crash, and one of the people in the crash gets in the news van and tries to escape. <laughs> CBS reporter uh, Iana Hughes was still in the back of the van editing video when it all happened. As soon as she knows what's going on, police say Hughes shouted for help. Officers got their car and followed the stolen van. A uh, reporter inside tried to make the woman stop. Uh, the suspect wouldn't do that, so she did the smart thing, got in her seat, put the seatbelt on. The vehicle continued to its location where it crashed. Now, guess what? Things get really wacky from here. Hughes, who is pregnant, was thankfully not hurt. Police arrested Lunsford, who was also pregnant. She was taken to the hospital with an injured arm. It's unclear if the injury was from the first or second crash. <laughs> what the fuck? What fuck it? What the fuck? What the I just, fuck? I really just want to ask these people how they thought this was going to solve their problem. <laughs> like, yeah, you were probably going to get in trouble for that crash, more so if you were impaired. Taking a hostage? <laughs> Technically, she took three hostages. Like, the second there's hostages, <laughs> you got problems. <laughs> Oh my god. What in the f babies on board? Seriously? <laughs> and Matthew says, stop, I'm pregnant. Well, me too. We're still driving. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's okay, fortunately. But this is just this is just some wacky shit. What is that? What was your end game here? Yeah, what was the goal? Where were you going? I dumped that thing. Yeah. I mean, and it's not like, what, you think the reporter's not going to tell them where you went? That's literally her job. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally her job to tell everybody what you did. Everybody. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ. Why? It, it, if, I, I'm pretty sure just getting in a car crash to begin with, it, it's not great, but yeah. there's worse things. You found the worst thing. Yeah, you did. You, it's you found like a much worse thing. It's like it's like, well, it could have been worse. Now it is. Good Congratulations. Job. You you succeeded. Oh god, what the? F we got one more this week. Um, we got her water broke. I feel like they would have put that in the article. They would have, yeah. And even still, well, water breaks, babies happening. Yeah, and even and still, no point no return. I wouldn't be trying to after that crash with one vehicle. I wouldn't be trying to steal another vehicle while it's going on. I would get someone else to be driving. Not Generally, if you yeah. say to the authority something akin to "I am in labor," huh. And you are visibly pregnant, they will act accordingly. So uh we we've got uh oh my god, we've got video. Holy shit. Just straight up stupid. Um I I there's nothing more, it's just straight up and down, easy. Let's have a look at the video here, shall we? There we go. There's a watch. All right, so there's a dude holding on to the back of this Nissan with that Stupid ass spoiler. You can see right there. And uh cranking it and face plant. Fucking he's fine. I would we wouldn't I'm gonna put his off. We wouldn't be reporting on this. We wouldn't have it on the show if anyone was hurt. Somehow he's not. Uh, a man holding onto the spoiler in the back of a car was performing a donut and a lucky scape after he fell off mid-trick. Video posted by Christian Gonzalez, a man can be seen sat on the back of a modified red Nissan 350Z. <laughs> there you go, Terry just saw it. Uh, clinging to a large spoiler. The beginning of the footage believe been taken in Connecticut. Uh, Christian is heard yelling, you'd better hold on tight. 
he did. In the car that is missing its front bumper, starts driving, accelerates hard enough for the tires to screech. Christian then attempts to pull off a donut with a man in the back still clinging on. The car starts to turn. The spoiler breaks away and falls backward from the car, taking the man with it. Man, spoiler. I don't even think that kind of spoiler is legal in Connecticut. I don't think that stopped them. Quote, he's not hurt. He's completely fine. Just a few scratches. My wing, on the other hand, broke. Really? That's what you're concerned with? Aww, poodle. You, 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 that, are you, I gotta play that again, because that was just, what the, You what? shouldn't really be allowed to operate a car, because no. you're not responsible enough. Like, I know we've all been inside for a month. Like, I haven't Here we go. left Here. There it is. Here. my house except to go for like a half hour walk around my neighborhood since the beginning of March. I get it. We're all a little stir crazy. Tells a, I love he tells a dude, hold on tight. Well, he did. Yeah. This isn't the answer. I, why would I you? I how bad your cabin fever is. I have never been this bored. Oh. I've been very bored. I have done quite a few silly things while bored. I have never been get on top of a, the outside of a moving vehicle board. And we live in an age where there is endless entertainment available to us at all times. Mm -hmm. There's 4,000 channels. There's 4,000 streaming services. There's games you can play on your phone. Mm -hmm. There's TikTok. You can learn a stupid dance and try to get TikTok famous. Like, when we were kids, none of that existed. We had books, and we had TV. And we had siblings to beat up. We might have had a VHS, a VHS, but we didn't, you know, not exactly, like, nobody had a library at that point. It took time for that to happen. Um, we had computers a little bit, but just some games. We had Nintendo, but just some games. Um, I didn't have either of those. I didn't have a computer in my home until I was married. And my mom didn't let us have video games. We we have been we we had TV, but how TV used to work was they told you what you get to watch, and yeah. you liked it. And if you missed it, fuck you. You, you. you quite possibly you'd never see it again. Yeah, unless they did reruns in the summer, which is a thing that used to happen. They would rerun the entire season of a show over the summer. Yeah, they did. instead of putting on a forty seventh. People making out in a hot tub reality show. We didn't have box sets yet. Shit was, no. it was, it was the dark ages. Everybody, I don't know how we made it out of there. And we still didn't do this. No, some well, to well be honest, we did. some people did. Yeah, but my sister did a cartwheel off the top of my father's Volkswagen Beetle and fucked up her face. But it was like we were saying earlier. There's no evidence. There's no proof. But you can't prove shit. Because nobody had a nobody had a cam. I had a. I we actually me and my friend between us we had a camcorder and it was the saddest little camcorder, because it was a uh, Pixel something Pixel Master. It was about like this big. Okay. Yeah, they were enormous. No, no, this one was only like this big. Oh, all right. The um, old ones they weighed like twenty pounds. It recorded in black and white. I think it was like, it wasn't even um, 320 by 240. It was like, the, the resolution was way lower. Um, and it recorded onto metal cassette tapes. Remember metal tape? Yeah. Recorded onto metal cassette tapes. It was a big deal when my uncle got a, a video recorder. Like, it was a big deal. And he so he made videos of all the family events, including my oldest sister's wedding. Those old camcorders didn't have great light. Like, your iPhone will adjust to the light of the room you're in now. He had, I'm not even fucking kidding you, like, a 300 candle power searchlight that he held in one arm with the camcorder on the other, 20 feet of extension cord across the ballroom at my sister's wedding. And, like, he was blinding people. Holy <laughs> shit, I found it. Oh, shit, I found it. I gotta, I gotta show you this ridiculous, this sad, ridiculous thing. It was like the kids today don't know. Uh, th this okay. This is this this was from Fisher Price, the Fisher Price camcorder. Here, let me give you a link here. Um, put it, I'll put it up here just to, just to show you the primitive conditions the Stone Age were like. 
This is the PXL 2000. Look at that thing. Um, it came with a little TV, too. A little black and white TV. Um, and it recorded to metal tape in, in black and white. Um, it was $170 back then. So that was like, what, $400 now? Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it was, it's just sad things, but yeah, there was no evidence. Uh, it could record yeah. 11 minutes of, it could record 11 minutes of footage. Oh, it was terrible. Like somebody in my family took video of my first wedding. I've never seen it because they never bothered to burn it to anything. And I, my first wedding was back before smartphones. So. Uh, but yeah, the kids today don't know. They don't know. Like you used to yeah. have to do shit like this for fun. You don't know. No, you don't. What, the world what, is constantly entertaining you. So, yeah, it was it was one twenty by ninety. That was the resolution. One twenty <laughs> by ninety. That's like, that's like a live journal icon. I seriously right. Um. All right. Let's see what 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 did we learn this week? We learned there there you have options that don't involve face planting off the back of a Nissan. With a clearly not street legal spoiler. And we've learned when you damn kids complain about spoilers, there are kinds of spoilers that are worse than others. <laughs> that's terrible. Finding why out did what you, happened on Westworld is not the worst you, thing a spoiler can do to you. Why did you? That's terrible. That's that's that is terrible. Um, we've learned that if you're gonna take a hostage, don't take a reporter because they're just gonna tell everybody what you did. That's their job. That's this kind of thing. Try to just not take a hostage, though. Yeah, that's that's. Wait, once you've taken in a general, hostage, in general, don't take hostages. Once you've taken a hostage, there's no denouement from that situation. <laughs> it's it's all downhill from there. It's not the good way. It's kind of in the wily e. coyote downhill sort of way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we've learned that just because it's not technically a car doesn't mean it's not technically a DUI. Still counts. Still, still fucking counts. Um, we've learned that YouTube is a terrible incentive, and we never should have created it. And I say this as we're playing, putting a video on YouTube right now. <laughs> Am I a hypocrite? This place yes. Where we are this place where we are. This is the bad place. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've learned that. Just because you're you're working from home, shirt still required. Nobody needs to see your nipples. Nobody. You don't need. I don't. Men, women. I. This is one of those things. I, I like. Women are like. Well, men can show their nipples. Men shouldn't be showing their nipples. Okay. Nobody. Everybody, put court. your nipples. What? Not in court, anyway. Not in court. Everybody, put your fucking nipples away. I don't, I don't care what you present as. Put your fucking nipples away. Jesus. Is it really so hard to ask? I mean, is that so much? And finally, we've learned somehow anger over a stimulus check can cause you to burn down your mother's shit. I'm going to leave it to y'all to puzzle that one out. Yeah. You just, you, you come up with, you, you flesh out that concept. You, you just fill in those blanks however you can. Give me a treatment. We'll pitch it in the fall, okay? 